Hello, my dear students of class 10. This is my first lecture for you. Today, I am going to start the chapter electricity according to your syllabus. The chapter name is electricity. Now, in this chapter, you will study about electric current, electric potential, resistance, relation between electric current, potential, resistance, different types of circuit, circuit components, effect of current like heating, like chemical, etc. etc. Now, regarding that, before starting this particular topic, electricity, you should know about the charge. So, question is, what is charge? First of all, you should know about charge, then types of charge, number first, number two, two types, I will write afterwards, then you should know properties of charges, then you should know about conductors and insulators. After that, you will come at the concept of electric current. So, we will discuss these things today. So, now regarding this, first of all, you should know what is charge. Charge you cannot see. Charge only impact you can observe about the charge. Question is, what is charge? There is There, are, there were so many scientists who described the charge. But the most appropriate definition was given by a scientist name was William Gilbert. Remember this name? William Gilbert. He said that charge is that property of a body by which that body is able to produce electrostatic force. Listen again. Charge is that property of body by which that body can produce, can exert electrostatic force that is known as charge. Symbol of charge is somewhere it is denoted by Q, somewhere it is denoted by a small Q, that capital is small doesn't matter, but Q is the symbol of charge. When you talk about unit of charge, so number first, SI unit of charge is Coulombs. In short, capital C and in CGS system, unit of charge is stack coulomb listen at the board si unit is coulomb capital c and cgs unit is stack coulomb stack coulomb in short you can write st dot c this is stack coulomb so now this is charge if you talk about the types of charge charges are of two types positive charge and number two negative charge these are the two types of charge now question is when a body is positive charge, when a body is negative charge, it depends upon body is conductor, means body can lose the electron, a body can gain the electron, means body is metal or body is non-metal, it depends upon that thing, when a body will be positive charge, when a body will carry negative charge. So this is about charge and type of charge is positive and negative. Now come to the next topic that is properties of charges. There are several properties associated with the charges like number first, same nature charge. Same nature means if two charges are positive, remember that this is point charge. Two charges are negative, here the nature is same. If the same nature of charges are kept in front of each other, then there will be repulsion. Second property is different nature charge. Different nature is, one is positive, other is negative, then there will be attraction force. That is, force is either repulsive, force is or attractive, depends upon what is the nature of charges. In both the cases, you heard this word at both the places, force. Now the question is, how we will calculate this force? By which formula we can calculate the force? To measure this formula, a scientist was there, name was Coulomb. Coulomb gave a law, that law is known as Coulomb's law. Now question is what is Coulomb's law? Coulomb said that 
If two point charges are there, suppose that these two point charges, one is at A, other is at B. Suppose that this is plus Q1, this is suppose that plus Q2, or this is plus Q1, or this is minus Q2. Anything you can suppose. And there is a gap between the charges. Let the gap is small r. Then either the force will be repulsive, or the force will be attractive. In both the cases, this force will depends upon two things. Number first. And number two, what the two things? Number first, this force varies directly to the product of magnitude of charge. Means whatever the amount this charge is having, whatever the amount this charge is having, both will multiply with each other. Depends upon force. Means if charges are of larger magnitude, force will be more. If charges either of smaller magnitude, force will be less. And secondly, it varies inversely to the square of distance. Between the point charges means if distance is more, force will be less. If distance is less, force will be more. On combining these two, a proportional Q1, Q2 upon R square, or you can say F equals to a constant is K Q1, Q2 upon R square. This K is known as proportionality constant. Proportionality constant. And there is a numerical value of this K. The numerical value of K is 9 into 10 to the power 9. So the formula will be now F equals to 9 into 10 to the power 9 Q1 Q2 upon R square. There are so many things over which this constant value depends. That you will study in the higher classes in class 12. So no need to discuss here. But you should know this k this value is not fixed because value of k also depends upon two things. Number first, what the medium is there, and number two, what the system of measuring unit is we are having. That is why this k value is not only this one. Remember this. But for your standard, the value of k you can write nine to ten to the power nine when the charges are either Q1 or Q2 are measured in coulomb, and distance is measured in meter. Remember this. Then you should write value of k is nine to ten to the power nine. So first property same nature repulsive, different nature attractive. In both the cases, force is acting. By help of this formula, you can calculate that amount of force. Now the third property is third. Third property is charges are quantized in nature. Remember this. Charges are quantized in nature. Question is what the meaning of quantized? Quantized means To calculate the charge in any body, we always use the formula Q equals to m e. Before m e, we should put my plus minus sign both because it may be Q equals to plus m e. It may be Q equals to minus m e because I told you charges are of two types: positive and negative. Now, question is what this meaning n? N is any integer. In mathematics, you you have. Listen this word integer. That Q is integer, and E is amount of electron. 1.6 to the power minus 19 coulomb. This is the value of one electron charge. Now, when any integer multiply, this amount of electron, amount of sorry, amount of charge raised to power uh, that is of one electron, then the total amount of charge associated with any body can calculate. So remember this formula. Q equals to plus minus m e. Number next means number four. charges are additive in nature additive in nature question is what is the meaning of this additive suppose that this is any body in this body 5 coulomb positive minus 2 coulomb negative minus 7 coulomb negative plus 1 coulomb positive these are the charges now the question is what is the total amount of charge associated with this body then that will be what look here add all the charges here With the help of their nature also means when you write five coulomb right positive side, then this is addition. Then one coulomb you are writing put again plus side. Then again addition. Then two coulomb you are writing put minus side. Then again addition. Then you are writing seven coulomb put minus and means whenever you are going to add the charge, take their nature also during the addition. Now five on six, this is plus six coulomb. Then this is addition side. Then two and seven means minus nine coulomb. Now the answer will be minus three coulomb. 
means charges are kinetic in nature means whenever you are going to calculate total amount of charge associated with any body then you add all the charges with their nature this is fourth property now fifth property is <coughs> the first one is if nature the first one is if nature is same repulsive force will be there second one is if different nature is there attractive force will be there then you have calculated value of force how do you calculate the value of force then the next property i told you about quantized nature next property i told you kinetic nature the next one is charges are conservative conservative is what which cannot destroy which cannot create means whatever the amount of charge associated with any body will be always conserved so this is next property that is charges are conservative if you know all these thing then only you can understand the concept of electric current now the question is what is electric current so remember that electric current symbol is i theoretical definition of electric current is flow of charge flow of charge creates electric current orderly motion of charge remember this word orderly motion of charge produces electric current this is theoretical definition now mathematical definition is what electric current is rate of flow of charge means flow of charge per unit time this is mathematical definition with the help of this if you want to write unit then unit will be for charge you can write coulomb for time you can write second so this is the unit of electric current or simply you can write it ampere what is this ampere symbol is capital a so this is the unit of electric current or you can write coulomb per second sometimes question asks what is 1 ampere 1 ampere what is 1 ampere you can solve from here actually i equals to q by t if you take q is 1 coulomb and time is 1 second then i will be what 1 ampere because 1 by 1 will be 1 only so i will be 1 ampere now the question is what is 1 ampere so 1 ampere is the amount of current which is produced due to flow of charge of 1 coulomb per unit second understand 1 ampere is the amount of current which is produced due to motion of 1 coulomb of charge per unit second this is called 1 ampere so today i told you about the charge properties of charge electric current concept now one thing is left here that is conductor and insulator there are two types of substances if you study at your standard that one type of substance is there in which current can flow and one type of substance is there in which current can not flow so the substances in which current can flow they called conductors conductors like iron iron current can flow aluminium copper etc etc means these are some these are the metals in which conduct in which current can flow insulator those substances in which current cannot flow like so many uh, simple examples rubber whenever live wire touches that live wire with the help of ladder on the electric pole he always use that uh, gloves made of rubber you can use wood wood is also an insulator means insulator are those substances in which current can not flow so these are the topics which i discuss with you today tomorrow i will discuss you about the electric potential about the electrical resistance okay thank you god bless you